It was our third time coming into Sasquatch Canyon to the 1977 sighting location. And uh, it was our first time of really finding anything of any significance that kind of corroborates all the Bigfoot sightings in this canyon for us. Uh, we'd like to come down and look around beaver ponds and creeks and in the willows. There's so many sightings actually in the creeks and stuff. And uh, just as we got down into the willows to come uh, down to the creek, uh, we felt and heard a loud thump. And I turned back and looked at Jenny and, and told her, hey, you know, keep an eye out for moose. It's the only animal I could think of that could make the ground shake like that by stomping it. We um, come down and crossed at uh, this uh, beaver dam right here. And uh, just as we got up to start crossing it, we both could smell uh, a sewage type smell. Didn't really think anything of it. And then we got across uh, the river um, the very first footprint and uh, it was up on the embankment and it was going that direction and we kind of backtracked where it come from and uh, we come down here and it had jumped it, it, it we seen the footprints over there uh, on the other side of the creek they were so deep but it appears that it leaped the creek and uh, landed over here is the reason why it sunk in so deep this footprint was like five inches deep, 17 inches long by almost eight inches wide. And uh, it's some of the best toes that uh, we had ever gotten off of a footprint because it had sunk in so deep. And then it looks like it leaped up and uh, walked up here. Well, um, I went back to the vehicle to get our casting kit. Uh, we had a foam casting kit and we come down and foamed it uh, after we measured it and took a bunch of pictures and stuff of it and uh, let that set up. Well, just as we got done foaming it, um, we could hear something coming down towards the tree line um, really loud. I thought it was an elk or a moose coming down to uh, get a drink. So I was watching and waiting for it to bust out of the tree line and uh, it stopped at the tree line and started pacing out of sight back and forth up here above us, these trees right here. and. Uh, it was snapping branches and stuff, and it kept it up for about 30, 40 minutes. And I finally said, hey, I'm gonna go up and see what it is. So we hiked up there, and just as we got close to the tree line, um, we could hear it retreat. It started to try to be quiet, retreated it away, and hid back in the draw. So we didn't see what it was, but we saw its uh, destruction, its snap-offs and stuff. Um, after about 20 minutes of looking, we decided to come down and see if the cast was ready to pull up. Um, come down, uh, it was still kind of tacky, so we needed to wait and the sun was starting to come down and it rushed the tree line again and kept it up for about the next 40 minutes until we finally just dug the cast up. It was after dark and my girlfriend was getting scared. Um, we didn't have a firearm or anything, so after the sun went down, we decided to leave and it kept it up the whole time we left. Never did get to see what the animal is, but uh, we thought maybe perhaps it might have been what left that footprint.